Guys, what's happening? We have some special guests inside the warehouse today, all the way here in Murfreesboro, Tennessee, and we have some products that we want to show you guys, and we cannot wait to get to this. So you guys stay tuned. Guys, welcome back. We have some super important, important guests in the house today. We got Michael from Vim Tools, and we got Louie over here from Hello, Vim guys. Tools. We like to call him Louie Jr. because his dad's name Louie also, but super cool guys, and they're one of our best friends in the tool industry. You know why, Connor? Because they always make sure that the tool man is taken care of. They do. They exactly. Do. They're not just like an online store. They, they, they take care of the tool man. So for if, any of you guys that are out here watching this, and you're a tool guy yourself, because I know some of you actually stalk our page. I think you can agree with us that that is one of y'all's main focuses, right? It that is. What we do, man. It is. Yeah. We, we focus on the distributors who are selling our products, the professional distributors, uh, because that's what we make is professional products. Right. Exactly. And we might get some heat for some of the end users because they're, they ask why, why bother with that. And yeah. the reason behind that is, uh, like I've said multiple times on our own channel, we are a small relatively small business for what we do uh there's only 20 employees of or about 20 but you employees. got a big place we do got a big place yeah. but we we make a lot happen. we do a lot with little yeah we make a lot <laughs> happen sure. with a little bit of people and uh there's no other 3,800 to 5,000 person sales force out there that's not tool trucks right that that's is right. our sales force yeah. and in terms of customer service you won't get that you won't get what you get from these guys or from any other tool truck that you would on Amazon. On a regular online. You, uh, like I challenge anybody, if you try to warranty something, try to reach out to Amazon and, and, and get something warrantied and it, it doesn't work. It's a pain in the butt. Try to call us on the phone. We may not answer because we're busy, but guys, our, po our phone number's all over Google. And actually it's Connor's number, so I don't mind if you call it because yeah, I'm, out, it's I'm, I'm out on the route. So uh, if you do call us, we will answer and we will take care of your stuff. And we've taken care of a lot of warranties over the phone and sent you guys some stuff. But listen, we don't want to bore you. We want to talk about tools because that's our favorite thing to talk about. And uh, I don't know what we need to talk about first. Let's let's go over how strong this stuff is. That's that's I, I've done a few videos and I've got a few things wrong about an ANSI rating. Can you explain kind of what an ANSI rating is to some of these guys so that it comes straight from you? It doesn't come from me. Go for it, Mikey. So ANSI is the American National Standards Institute. They basically provide a standard of strength for the entire tool industry. If you want a product to be considered professional, you have to meet 100% of ANSI. Um, we go above and beyond that, and we exceed 200%. 200%. Um, not only that, we make most of our line from S2 steel. Mm -hmm. uh, we always have. It's the reason we have our own S2 logo, if you can see it from the camera on my hat here. <laughs> um, Vim, has been, Vim has been manufacturing S2 for longer than I've been alive. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and uh, they kind of perfected it. The yeah. previous owners were metallurgists, right? And so they were very much into the science of metal and hardening. And they found a way to harden this stuff that allowed you to abuse it without it breaking as easily as other uh, sockets drivers. Right. Uh, so we kind of became known for the quality of our hardline. That set right there, the TMS seventy seven, that is one of the things that has kept us in business for oh, almost a yeah. hundred years. Well, I'll agree with you because literally uh, Vim goes all the way back to Donovan that worked there. And Donovan gave me a warranty set on my truck whenever I went to one of my first tool shows. And when I, I was a Cornwell dealer a long time ago, let's don't talk about that. But I became an independent and I was looking for a Torx and a Hexbit brand to carry that was actually going to stand up. And Donovan told me a lot, one thing a long time ago. He said, Matt, when you sell this bit right here to somebody, he said, tell them the first thing to do is stick it on an impact gun. Which... I say that a lot. That may not be the right thing to say, but it's well, worked and it has sold a lot of freaking torques and hex bits for me because... It came right from Vim uh, before, like you said, when Donovan was still there. On the sales flyer for that set, it said approved for impact use. Mm -hmm. um, and it technically is strong enough to be held on an impact, but it is a satin chrome finish and chrome can flake. So we can't impact rate it because of, of that fact that, that chrome can flake off of the Legal socket. Prices. But <laughs> legal reasons. But what we can say is that it will hold up. You use it on. We know it's going to be used on an impact, and we don't want to warranty it as much as you do. Because no chrome, no people ever use chrome impacts on or chrome sockets on an yeah, impact. It happen, right? I, 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 don't, I don't do it. So it make it just makes more sense for us <laughs> to make a quality product that isn't going to break because it helps our name, it helps our reputation, and we don't have to warranty out as many pieces as we typically would. Yeah, and, uh, you could feel it if you if you grab one of our sets off a truck when you're on a truck, 
and you grab another set of equivalent size pieces and you pick them both up, you're going to feel the weight of the difference. You're, you're, it's just a matter of fact. That's, that's one of the ways that I, that's what I do at shows. I grab a dealer and he says, well, what's the difference between this and this other brand set? I pick it up, I give it to him, I go, grab it, pick it up with one hand. He picks it up and his hand drops. And that right there is all you need to know. Yeah. yeah. We like to say that the proof is in the steel. And it really is. Uh, we had somebody yesterday, and this is an outlier because this is um, pretty remarkable. This doesn't typically happen. But somebody said he has had that set right there, the TMS 77, for 10 years. He's never broken a piece. He never worn st one. He stopped by a booth. I don't want to do that much, man. And that typically is, doesn't happen. Every brand, you're going to break yeah, something. Break um, but that just kind of goes to show that this stuff holds up very, very well. Being a cornwheel dealer and being an independent dealer, when I was cornwheel, I used to warranty a crap load of Torx bits and Allen bits because they would never bend. They would just shatter and mm -hmm. just explode. Is that because it's too hard? It's too or brittle. Is that it's too brittle. It's yeah. too brittle. Okay. Well, so on a chrome, a chrome socket is typically made from chrome vanadium, mm -hmm. which is a harder, more brittle um, steel. Yeah, and that is so that it doesn't it doesn't ever change its shape. And an impact has to be able to flex. That's why it's usually made from um, chrome moly. Yeah. So S two is kind of is just as hard as chrome vanadium, but it also has a little bit of flex like chrome moly. And if you harden it correctly, uh, it can kind of be the best of both worlds. And now the difference between uh, in a hardening process is really where this stuff is is essentially made to be what it is because you could use the same materials. And how you harden it makes it all the difference. But what a lot of these bigger companies do is they mass produce things and everything is big batch. Yeah. So what it does, it goes on a belt that goes through an oven and goes. So you get uneven hardening between all the different pieces while you see no consistency in the sets. Right. Whereas we make sure our hardening process is on a very consistent way where everything is evenly spaced out, set in its own oven, hardened, and then you move on to the next one as opposed to a belt style. And that's the difference between something being mass produced and not working while another set that is you know smaller batch is a lot better quality, even though it's the same material. Yeah. The hardening yeah. process is different. Th There's think, a lot that goes into this. Think thing. of like a handcrafted piece of furniture as opposed to Ikea. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. I hate Ikea, boy. My <laughs> wife loves it, but I hate putting furniture together. Yeah. Well, that kind of goes over a little summary of just what, how much information or how much technology actually goes into the sockets. And, uh, guys, if you own any products from them and you've used them, let's hear, let's hear some of your experiences down in the comments. We will definitely go over a lot of the comments and read those, but we would like to know the feedback of how many of you guys actually watch this. But I don't want to bore you at all. I don't, we're not probably going to go over prices today, are we, Connor? Yeah, probably We're not. just kind of going over a highlight of some of the products that they make. I'm going to talk about the SMS 600 right here. This is probably one of my favorite sets to sell. I'm kind of against foam, but I'm really for foam in this situation. Okay. So uh, I like everything in a case, but this right here in the foam is super nice, guys. You get everything from a quarter inch all the way to a three quarter in your deep and in your shallows and then an eight millimeter all the way to a 19. But one thing they do is they throw some extensions in there, one of their awesome 92th ratchets. Yep. Mm -hmm. 92 ratchets and a little adjustable crow's foot all in here. There's everything you will need, even an adapter. And every bit of this right here is uh, warrantied. Oh, I forgot to talk about this right here too. It has a spring-loaded universal in here that's a 3.8. So uh, every bit of this is warrantied. It's all individually part numbered. You can look this up on textchoicetools.com if you want to get a price on it. But a really fancy set, I believe it's I believe it's actually under two hundred bucks. Yeah, I think it's like one eighty nine. Very well. Yeah. And uh, you should see some deals coming soon. So then obviously Matt and them will have those. Look yeah. out for those. And a couple features that Matt didn't mention on those sets is that those extensions aren't just regular extensions. There's three of them through three different lengths and they're all two step wobbles so that you can use a socket on it when either fixed or you pop it up one step and now you have an extra fifteen degrees of swivel on that socket. And uh what else did I miss? Did I miss anything else? Is this owned well, by you guys, the patent on this? No, no. That no. is something that you'll see on a very popular red truck ah. as well. But no, it's not a patent. <laughs> a little bit of mystery out it's there just about the double wobble. It's a extra feature. It's not so yeah. much a patent. But this is patented by you guys. Are so you? we have a patent on the combination of dual drive and spring-loaded. Spring-loaded ah. is not patented. Yeah. The application of a dual drive item with a spring-loaded mechanism yeah. is where that, that is. So like our FFDD 400K, those little mini UJs that you mm -hmm. can use in wrenches, um, those are patented. You'll never find the combination of spring load, dual drive anywhere. That's right. awesome. It's awesome that you guys do patent your products. That way no one can copy them. That makes, makes them more proprietary to just you guys. And well, maybe even a company might even, has a company ever tried to buy a patent from you? Multiple times. Multiple times? Multiple times. Oh, my, wow. father is, uh, my father is the owner of the business and he, uh, he has, I think it's 15 to, or 16 patents to his name at the moment. That's and, with uh, like eight pending. Exactly, with a bunch pending. 
and they're a lot. They're they very cost, expensive. They That's cost why a lot some of people money. don't realize. So you have to have A, the idea, B, the capital to fund a patent because they're not cheap. It's around $10,000 a patent an item, average. And then you also have to have the means to make and mass produce and sell said product. So and, a lot and, to, into it. and yeah, to make tooling is a big thing that a lot of people don't think about. You can't just make something out of thin air. You have to create the molds and, and everything that goes into oh, yeah. manufacturing. Instance, that is very expensive. Some of the, this, this whole table that we're in front of is, sample, is things that are coming for Vim. And uh, one of these items, uh, the reason that you don't see it anywhere else is because the tooling for that item, even though it's not patented, the tooling that we own was close to $40,000. So Jeez. a lot of people stayed away from that. And now that we own the tooling, people can try to make it, but they have to make it in a different way and pay for their own tooling. Yeah, yeah, which brings the price. Which of the tools, brings the prices of tools up. Makes it makes it more expensive. But it also, it's like a non-legal patent. Yeah. Because yeah, you can get around it, but it's going to cost you a lot of money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 There's a barrier there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's a, it's and it, it kind of goes to something somebody asked me yesterday, because um, obviously we're at a show, we're at World Pack, and uh, so a lot of techs are here, and one of them came up and said, uh, "Do you guys just rebrand, or like do you actually make the stuff yourself?" And I'm like, "Well, there's a there's a third option." Which is, even if we're, because a lot of the stuff obviously is imported, even if we're not making it in-house, uh, we do design tools and patent. So we partner with uh, our factories overseas, and so we, we use them to create the tools out of basically nothing. Uh, like this item right here that we're going to talk about pretty soon. Nobody else had that, but we made the tooling, we own the patent, uh, we just use them to manufacture it. It's not something that's rebranded, uh, it's something that we own. We just partner with another factory to manufacture it. And by that we mean we do, we do have offices overseas. That we do have. Uh, and we do have invested stake and it, we own percentages of factories. That being said, that's not to say we, I can't believe you can't make that for someone else. But our designs are our designs and they are proprietary in that sense. And we use the factories that we have percentages of to make those products. Like, no, me and Michael whoa. are not in the, in the warehouse, in-house, in freaking da 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 No, that's, that's not what we're doing. <laughs> we'll, we'll, stick, we'll stick with uh, that because, you know, hey, we don't, we don't want to confuse you guys because Vim is the way of the future. They're growing. They've got tons of product behind them. And you guys just, these guys just got started because uh, your dad came from Astro, right? Yes, my father and, worked and, with Astro And he for bought the company. Years. And anybody that's watching this, you've seen the product starting to explode all over the tool trucks. And these guys do, they come out with a product literally about what, once a month? Yeah, once a month. Or three weeks. We always have something new coming from them. Even if it's not on the trucks, it's always coming down the pipeline and we're knowing about it. Um, to put and into perspective, everything goes. The last two years, we've had over 150 SKUs added to our line. Exactly. And that's kind of what it takes to revamp a line, as you've seen that we. You don't see that from any other company our size. No, no. Anyway. We know you work. We it is, you, it is we know you work, and we know you we work. Are, hard. We are full throttle. Yeah. There's, There's no a lot, of, a lot of long nights, a lot of uh, turbo mode. Make, well, making calls turbo mode. during the day, and then, all right. Five o'clock, now go outside, start moving, packing, order, shipping stuff. Mm -hmm. There was a lot to get us off the ground and really chugging, but... Louie, you don't pack no orders, man. <laughs> Come I got, on. I got pictures, say otherwise. You got some, pic you got some people that <laughs> I pack I can, I can vouch for that. Now. We were both we were both picking <laughs> packing orders I got videos at 11 o'clock at night on a forklift with my dog in his bed on the forklift. We're just moving shit around, packing so, orders, so, getting so stuff ready. So if you give me any kind of hope, you packed orders and you did stuff in your warehouse... Kind of like me and Connor do. Yeah. Sure. So yeah. Connor packs most of your orders. He does sometimes. I pack a few. I take some of your phone calls. Connor, Connor takes most of them. Now, I'm always dealing with vendors and stuff like that. But like I said, you need something, you get in touch with us, we'll do it. So, question for y'all is, we, in a prior video, said that these were S2 steel. Um, but are they S2 steel? Because I know there was, we had that conversation. So, what's the quality of the sockets and not? So... With the SMS 400 and the SMS 600, the quarter and three eighths sets, those are not made from S2, those are chrome vanadium. Uh, although they are hardened to over 200% of ANSI torque standard, as with the rest of our hard line. So you'll have a hard time finding a higher quality socket set anywhere. Yeah. I, I'll say that those are not impact rated, they are chrome finished, but they will hold up on an impact. Uh, we have plenty of people that we work with in shops that have told us that, that have used it daily. Uh, and they say, man, this stuff holds up. These are great sockets. And for the price, you really cannot beat it. And everything that comes in that set, the extensions, the UJ, uh, you have metric and standard, shallow, deep sockets, a 92th ratchet. That 3 ratchet ratchet's rated for 350 foot-pounds. Yeah. And they, they tested it. Oh, they yeah. Got, oh, yeah. They got a break room, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, you, you said something about your tools being warrantied in one of your videos, and you talked about that you don't even give the tool, main, the tool distributor, like, in the warehouses, excuse me, like Integrates Planet Work or something like that, you don't even give them a credit because you only see like 
one percent or two percent of your stuff come back broke? One and a half. One and a half percent. You see less than a two percent defective rate across the entire hard line, yeah. which is very difficult it's for huge. a hand tool company to to claim. And what I the less political way of what Michael just said is uh, beat the crap out of those sockets. They're all on your impacts. They're warranted and they hold up. <laughs> yeah. And you can ask me and Matt. I mean, disclaimer: they are not impact rated. <laughs> we cannot impact rate them. <laughs> they are a chrome finish, and that can flake. Do it. But like me and Matt said, like if you go when we do warranty, um, you'll see about maybe a Ziploc bag full of Vim stuff. Oh God, and just then a small little bag. The they're not they're not associated with this, but the gear wrench is a tote full. Like, yeah, like, we love gear wrench, but their or steel wrench. isn't there, or a Cabo, Cabo wrench or anything. Wrench. Oh, it's so Vim makes high quality tools because they're going for a professional. So guys, the camera overheated right there, so we had to take about a five minute break. But we're bringing it back. We ended with the gear wrench stuff. Um, Gear wrench makes a good tool, but it's not as high quality as this, and it's breaking more and more. Um, so, Vim is the new way when it comes to the Chrome stuff, and their impact stuff's very high quality too, and they're climbing up the ranks on the tool trucks and online too. Um, I mean, a ratchet wrench breaks, but a lot of people mistreat those jokers. Exactly. Oh, 100%. Yeah. Also, you got to combine. Yeah. Size of company. They use exactly. Hand. So obviously, there's more of them on the market. It's not just that they're better or worse, but uh, there's a clear difference, I'd say, and I'll let you do the rest of that. <laughs> yeah. Well, Vim has always been a, a tool truck brand, and so we've only ever been in the, in the professional <laughs> technician hands, um, and we want to keep it that way. And so, I mean, in order for it, in order for us to stay in that part of the industry, this has to be some of the best tools you've ever used. Yeah. Because exactly. they go through abuse every single day. It's not like something somebody just has in their garage and it's like they may just use it on the weekends. It's like this shit's being used every single day. Right. Um, and we have to make sure that it holds up to that. And uh, the, it's kind of what we became known for was our hard line um, and also like very specialty tools. And, and so we found that niche and we're just sticking to it. Yeah. There's also, there's different ways to, there's different business models, right? There's, there's, a, there's quality, there's quantity, and there's just straight volume sales. You could sell a shit ton for, I'm oh, sorry. You could yeah. sell a lot. Burp. You could sell a lot, uh, a lot of product at a lower margin that costs you less, and you make your money, and you're happy, and everyone's fed, which is fine. Just we are a small family owned business still, so we chose a different approach. We do quality products, and we chose a slower growth path, and that's been working for us. And that's that being said, though, I kind of want to bring some up. What you're seeing on the table here and what you're hearing from an independent tool dealer, Text Choice, I know it sounds like, oh, that's a no-name. You guys don't just make tools for independents. You make a lot of tools for a lot of people. And you don't have to get into the specifics. You can answer this with... Very broad. Very broad. Uh, some of the things that... Because I study this stuff like homework. I didn't study a lot in high school, but I do study <laughs> this right here because I... I've owned this tool business, but there's stuff on these other trucks out here that start with an M, a C, a, a S, that have your products on it. All the flagships. Uh, we, a large part of this business is private label and every other brand does the same thing. Um, Vim has been around for quite a long time, so yes, we've made products for quite a lot of people. Yeah, <laughs> with no specifics mentioned. Good PR answer, Michael. Good yeah. PR. <laughs> I, I like it, I like uh, it. But while we're here, the whole reason they're here that we're showing off some new stuff coming down the pipeline, right? Um, they've already talked about it, hinted at it a little bit. They have changes to some older products. They have new products that are bigger and better. Um, but what's some one of the tools y'all want to start with, and then here we'll we go. go from there. Let's talk <laughs> about the brand new stuff, so baby. I love this thing right here. You let's go. talk about the stuff that is already here, that is new, that you guys can get your hands on. Yes. And I think there's three items on the table that are already here. We're talking about our TRK100 and uh, different attachments for that as well as different set configurations. What it is is essentially an extendable handle here that works with A, our 90 tooth flex head ratchet, half inch, our indexing, or not indexing, our free flex breaker bar, that's half inch, our wrench extender head, that's as big. well as our alignment enforcer, spring loaded crow foot. Yeah. All four of these work with the same handle and how difficult is it to move these and switch them out little pin on the bottom pops out has a little pin on it it's really easy push release grab your other one and within five or so seconds you have a new tool yeah that's pretty neat it takes up less room in your box so you don't have exactly. to have one tool you don't have to have well, all these look at tools this. individually this is an extendable wrench extender no i know that's nice how much leverage can you really get 
That's like, a lot of leverage. That's yeah, a lot that's of leverage. And yes, people can use a cheater pipe. But until you double wrench or use a cheater pipe and bust the living crap out of your hands, you're going to regret not spending the extra couple bucks. If you're going to use yeah. that, use a snap-on wrench. Don't use a uh, gear wrench or a, uh, anything we sell. <laughs> See, that's, that's the thing. A lot of people say, well, you're not worried about your wrenches. We don't make wrenches big enough to worry about it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like we're making one for our for the three Northern quarter tool. version. That's where you need to get your wrenches. <laughs> we have a we have a three quarter version of this, which um, extends up to forty five inches. Yeah. Forty eight. Forty eight inches. Boy. Big, big, big boy. It's heavy. And it has a ratchet and a breaker bar head. But we are currently designing a wrench extender that'll do up to fifty two millimeter wrenches. And yeah, we do not boy. have wrenches that big. So we were like. Perfect. Someone else's problem. <laughs> Someone else's problem. Someone else's now the, the We're here to give you the tools to create that problem. Won't carry that, but independence definitely will. Yeah. Yeah. yeah exactly. Yeah. yeah. No, that's uh, a because y'all had the three quarter one out for a little bit, and we've sold those pretty well. But the that's a game changer where you get everything. Nice. Well, so that three quarter is rated over fifteen hundred foot pounds. The ratchet head. Yeah. Um, we have tested that with. A long, how long was that pipe? Oh, I, saw you remember? The, I saw the video. It was a, like a 10 foot pipe. Yeah, so we had a, a, a buddy with a semi stop by the office, and then we got about as long as a piece of pipe that we could get from a scrapyard, and it was about 10 feet. And I mean, the thing was freaking bending how long it was. And we put it on there, and we were sitting there trying, we were holding and just hanging on it, hanging on it. It was just yeah. bouncing, and nothing was You happening. can't personally pull that much with your own strength. And if you are, I don't want to meet you. <laughs> yeah, and it's not it's not a collar locking style. It's it's this like push button. Yeah. Um, a lot of times those those three quarter ratchets that have the locking collar. Yeah. You drop it once, that shit locks up. It locks up. Yeah. It locks and up. It's just the nature of the design. The collar seizes up a little bit more. That's just all it is. Yeah. 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 So we've we've had a lot of um, really good feedback on the three quarter ratchet. So if you, if you have, a, for a lot of people, three quarter ratchets are a problem because yeah. you constantly break them or you constantly are having to warranty it. Um, if you haven't tried ours, I suggest you do because well, they have to go down. It, it might solve some problems. And if you're really got to pull on something, and you are like, you know, what, odds are I'm going to break a ratchet if I use it here. You have the option to switch it out with the breaker bar head. Which yeah. you really won't have any problems with. You won't have any problems. Yeah. Now just to clear up something on the TRK100. The TRK100 is the ratchet breaker bar and handle combo. The TWE26 is the handle and wrench extender combo. Now the spring-loaded crowfoot is sold individually because this is not as used, right? So it's something that's more special. Try to bring so, down some. Exactly. So this is an option if you want it. Yeah. It's not something that you have to buy in a set. So we so call this we call this the uh, alignment enforcer or the tie rod twister. Tie rod twister. <laughs> tie rod hey, twister. it's good for that. Those things are a little hard to sell, but they they I've used them myself. Well, you may be talking about you may tank. be talking about the one with a square drive on the side here. Yeah. yeah. This, this slips onto the handle, yeah. so yeah. you have a you have an extra long handle with the with the like tie rod adjustment tool thing. Yeah. Let's talk about that towel, Louie, because that thing's got some cool <laughs> right, shit in it, man. So this right here is what we call our mag rack. This is a mag rack 16 BK. Sounds pretty much exactly what it sounds like. It comes in this magnetic jar, which if you haven't seen, this is the MR jar. It is essentially a plastic jar with a magnetic five pound lid. And uh, for all of those in legal states, it is smell proof. And you can hide it under your toolbox. But <laughs> <laughs> Melt proof? Smell proof. Smell -proof. Smell -proof. <laughs> ah, I like so, it. So magnetic lid, but it doesn't magnetize the inside of the lid. So you can stick your fasteners, bits, anything in there, anything that you use a lot of, and you can stick it anywhere for convenience. Now inside of it is our A. A lot of people don't have black microfibers, and I don't know no. why, so it doesn't look so gross. Mm -hmm. It's a black 16 by 16 microfiber, pretty simple. What we have is a magnet on the tag here so that you can stick this on a cart, on the lid, even on the body of the car. You don't have to worry about hanging it somewhere and it falling, getting disgusting on the ground, having debris all over it, scratching stuff up. And I know the first question is going to be, well, what the? It's, it's going to have debris on it from the magnet. So what do you do then? You screw it's a bad design. We put an eyelet in the back of it so you can easily take out the magnet and it's only magnetic on one side so that the mag part that's sticking to something can't magnetize the back of it so you're not getting debris that's on the genius. other side of it. Now, yeah. that being said, it also comes out so you can wash it. You throw in the washer and not have to worry about it sticking to the washing machine. There you go. Perfect detail. So, Perfect detail gloss. Pretty neat little little microfiber here. And again, you're not reinventing the wheel. It's just a simple and like. Oh, I think it's addition. pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool. It is cool, cool but it's and not if like. If you shops want to buy like a hundred at a time, we can cut the cost on the break of the warranty <laughs> for everybody in the shop because <laughs> magnets aren't cheap. Magnets no, are they're expensive. Not. It's also fun because the magnet adds a little weight on this corner, so, so you can throw it against metal surfaces. You can just <laughs> throw it at That's your toolbox idea. and it'll just. Yep. Snap right to Save it. Save you some time. Keep you from walking yeah, all the way back <laughs> over the toolbox. Just exactly. about. Yeah. Dude, I really like this thing. This, this this is not the wheel has not been reinvented on the Baron Packer in so long. Nobody thinks I've about never it. seen it. I've just seen it for the first time like you guys are. But tell me about that dude. 
So, like he said, uh, nobody has thought about this tool in a very long time. And when I tell you why it's different, you're going to say, why the hell has nobody done that before? So, this is a bearing packer, uh, but unlike the typical one where you have to push it down, or sometimes you got to put you it on the floor on, and then step, step on, on it. it, this is just a threaded design. So, you screw it down. Simple. So, you have that leverage of just turning with the handle right here. And yeah. it makes it so much easier. And your hands don't get all nasty. Oh, all you guys out there with your palm and you're doing this right here, and you're like, I don't need no bearing exactly. packer. Exactly. The young guys are do this doing right that here. You're not properly packing the grease in the in exactly. the bearing, right? Exactly. You're shoving the it around guys the outside do that a lot because they don't want to deal with this. Which yeah, that's being right. Being a younger person, I understand. I am lazier than my father was. That's just how that works. <laughs> but <laughs> at least now, especially if you have if you're working with trailers a lot, this yeah. thing is going to be a lifesaver. Oh yeah. yeah, I'm probably gonna pick one of those up myself because I did some bearing packing on my own trailer and it was. I did it the old way, but I don't yeah. own either one. I got them in the trucks, but how much is that thing? Maybe forty bucks. Well, so this is this is this is a prototype. Like we said, this table is sort of things that are not out yet. Some of them are. Uh, this is one that isn't released yet. It'll be this year, though. Yeah, it'll be this year. Um, we will have it this year. You'll know as soon as Matt has it. Yeah. Um, it, it's a threaded bearing packer. Yeah. Very Simple. Cool. Yeah. Price pending. Effective. Price <laughs> pending. You'll know when it comes out. You'll, You'll know. know. And if that's with the most of our stuff, you know it's not going to be like insanely expensive. Um, so be on the lookout. Right. What about that hottest tool you got sitting right there between both of you guys that uh, I can't wait to get my well, hands on because I'm going to sell I was going to save that for last because that's going to be like oh. the hottest item this year. You want to save it for last? No, no, no. You guys we'll, take go for no it. we'll come back. We'll come back we'll to come it. We'll come back to it. We'll we'll it. All right. I'm going to show something that's been out for like mm, six months, um, but it doesn't get enough love, I don't think. So. <laughs> This is our, what we call the shake to break kit, yep. um, the S2BK100. We have another version of this set that is the S2BK100K. It comes Master. with all of our bit sets included. Uh, Torx, Torx Plus, Hexmetric, Hex SAE. You have triple square and Phillips and slotted. Recently, we updated the set. You guys don't have it here. I was looking. Uh, <laughs> we did. We did. We we took all the bits out of it. No, 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 no. I mean, we oh, changed the case, this the to case. a blue mode. Oh, okay. Oh. All right. Yeah. Um, we posted this. We're very active online. If you guys uh, don't follow us on Instagram, follow us, please, at VimTools. Also, our YouTube, at VimTools, Inc. Uh, we posted this on our Instagram, and the one of the comments was, I would love this in a blow mold. And that comment had a lot of likes. Mm -hmm. and for service trucks is really the main reason yes. people wanted it. So we actually made that change. So now these come in a blow molded case instead of a foam. And also when we were using this, uh, kind of testing and doing videos, the foam was getting very dirty just because the nature of where you use this tool, uh, it's, typically, yeah, it's typically a dirty area. You have to carry this around with you. Mm -hmm. So foam gets very dirty. So blow mold is a little bit better. Yeah, that won't be staying in your box very often. I've but, seen that on another truck too, by the way. But so, I'm just saying. Here, <laughs> you have a 5/16 bit holder. You have a half inch square drive. Uh, yeah, you have a 3 8 square drive adapter as well. And what you will find on this that you won't find on others that have similar adapters like this is that there's two detent balls. There is one where the socket sits to lock the socket onto the square drive, but there's also one where the handle sits to lock the handle in place. Because when you're hitting it with an air hammer, this thing likes to bounce around, uh, and there are some out there that literally, literally, it's just this, and you're meant to just put an open end wrench on it, and so you're literally fighting it like it'll come off. Yeah. So this actually locks in place, and it gives you something to hold. And for those of you that when we did when we posted this, one of the other comments was, "Is that that seems like a more complicated impact?" And it's not. Uh, think about an a lot impact design. Well, no, no. Th think about an impact. An impact like this is twisting. This, yeah. this is vibrating. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. So if you Shaking have if break. you have uh, if you have a fastener that's frozen um, or really rusty, if you're going to hit it with an impact, there are way more odds of you shearing off the head of that bolt with a twisting impact than if you're vibrating and turning with hand force. And now your job just got longer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it it yeah it eliminates the possibility of you shearing off the head of a a rusty bolt. Um, and with the 5 16 bit holder, you have all of the options of bits. Hopefully a number two or three Phillips. That's the, those, those are in here. That's the yeah. rotor. These bit, and some people will say, man, I have, my air hammer is going to uh, destroy the shit out of those bits. Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> it's all right. uh, these are S2 impact bits. Uh, this falls in line with the rest of our 1.5% defective rate. They are very strong. Not to say that somebody won't find a way to break it, 
but they do hold up in their lifetime warranty. So you can trust it. Um, and this is a very handy, handy kit. It, yeah. When we first brought it out. We're going to do a promo on that tomorrow. There you go. <laughs> when we are first brought stock? it out. They yeah, are. they are. Good. They are. It, with a blow mold case. With yep. a blow mold case. So, and we've done, I think we did a video on that right around the Christmas time, and it was, but we did the the master set where it came with the triple squares, it came with the Torx, it came with the Allens, the Phillips, everything. So, yeah. y'all seen that, and it's a good tool, and we sell that on the truck relatively well. Um, yeah, I've sold quite a few, yeah. mostly Honda guys, taking out those rotors. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but that's what the, what the bit holder's for. That's the bit. That's the, the, the main squeeze right there. So. There you go. You got a T-handle in your hand over there, Junior? So these guys right here is going to be a new part of our line, which are turbo T-handles. Hmm. We used to have a similar version of them, but we did switch around the design. So now you obviously have bearings so that you can, you know, use it as a T-handle and really get those things down in there quickly. But this collar right here slides down and back up to lock in different positions because we put a square drive on the actual T part of it. So you can use it as an L key for more torque, or when you need the speed, you also have it up here because you have the same square drive on the bottom. And now they are also that two-step wobble like those extensions are, so you can use it with the wobble, mm -hmm. or you can use it fixed on either end. And we have them in quarter as well as in three-eighths. Nice. Pretty simple, like but Yeah, did work. you mention it comes features. with the bit holders? It does come with those bit holders. So you do have a 5 16 and a quarter-inch bit holder for the quarter-inch, respectively, and three-eighths. Yeah. yeah, but you can remove those, obviously, and there's a square drive underneath. Last thing, what's this big, nasty jar? Last thing. Not last thing. We got one. We got, the we got a couple more things. We hope you guys have stuck with us. Oh, yeah. A couple more things. Uh, so if you've ever seen our V2400G, it's an auto-adjusting oil filter plier. Yeah, boy. Most it's popular thing we sell. We, really? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And the WE15. Oh, well, yeah. here you go. Here's a big-ass version of it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it is literally the same design. It's auto-adjusting, but for much larger oil filters. Um, it's a thick boy. It's heavy. It's, it's thick. It's, it's heavy. very heavy. It's morning. And this is what we were talking about earlier when we said that the tooling for just this is very expensive and it's the reason you won't find it anywhere else because so it's not per se patented. Nobody wants to go after that but it's protected. Um, because it, it, you know, it's a very expensive item to make. Now, uh, there's, for heavy duty guys, there's nothing else like this. There's no auto adjusting oil there's filter not. plier. Um, and if there is, it, odds are it's very thin. Um, this is a very thick design. There are four layers of carbon steel, laminated carbon steel, so it, it won't beefy. slip on an oil filter. Um, and uh, it, it'll, the it odds might. of it damaging the oil filter Let's go bear trap. are a lot lower. <laughs> yeah. You can fit this around some necks too. Yeah. And listen, this sounds like a shotgun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> sounds like a yeah, shotgun. It's pretty, it's pretty nasty. Which doesn't matter, but hey. I can't wait. It does not I matter, but it I is my favorite feature. <laughs> yeah. All right, next we have this set, which is coming out when? Like uh, three months we'll have this in stock? Yeah, we, we already got final samples in, which means it's, it's ready. If you've ever seen our VHC 42, I mean our VHC 77, it is one of our most popular sets ever. I'm surprised you didn't say that was your best seller. It's very popular for it's us. It's a popular seller. It's just uh, 180 bucks for some bits, but well, you know, no one else has anything like it. Exactly. They are. It's, it's Specific for your Euro guys. They are five eighths of an, uh, an overall length bits or half cut bits or literally half the length of a normal bit. Um, and paired with the ratchet that comes in that in that kit, the bit ratchet, uh, it's great for tight access, under dash work. We have a lot of aviation guys that use that set because they're always in tight spaces. Um, fun fact, that set is included in every Rivian service kit. Oh really? We, he saw that once on Instagram. And he's like, oh, whoa, 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 look at that. Well, and we had Rivian's, we uh, so we right now. we changed the case on that kit, right? You did. We changed the case, and Rivian reached out to us. Yeah. And was like, hey, um, just so you know, we had, we had. Did you guys change the case because we had a specific foam for our toolbox uh, where this fit, and now it doesn't. Good They're job. Like, oh Louis. shit. So we, but, but we didn't know that. Like, so well, that's cool. Let a let a dude know. You know? yeah. <laughs> we put a QR, well, code, no. a QR code on top of it, so yeah. it should be easier for you to find. So this set is going to be 42 pieces, all half-cut bits, but included is the tiniest ratchet in the world. It is two inches in overall length, and included with it is an extension that creates a longer handle. So if I put this half-cut bit inside of the head of this ratchet, it adds no height to the bit because the bit sits fully flush with the back of the, the ratchet head. And so you literally have 5 eighths in overall clearance with a two inch handle for, if your pinky fits, so does this. Yeah. Um, for tight spaces, this is amazing. It's what we do best. We are kind of known as the kings of tight access 
and this kind of uh, showcases that. This showcases that. But you, once you put this uh, extension in the bottom, you kind of have a regular length handle with a very slim head. The handle also has a bit holder on the bottom, so you can use this in the head of the ratchet. Oh, and if you hold you it, go. if you hold it like this, yeah, kind of creates like a speed ratchet. That's or you cool. have an L key this way for a little more. Uh, you can use the sockets torque. or you the guys think drive. of all that stuff. You guys sit around and like write stuff down about how you can do it, and then get the tooling done, or does someone so, come up with it and give you a sample? Of senior, who we we call him Doctor Gadget. Doctor Gadget. For that and reason. for that reason, <laughs> I, this man, I swear to God, he doesn't sleep. You'll yeah. have something. You'll have an idea, and he'll go, "I already got it." And you're like, God. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, but but you know he when he has an idea usually it's he comes in with samples and he throws it down and he's like, all right, what do we think? And then we all sit so around and talk about it. You guess what it is and he makes you guess. He does make you, you guess. There, he's like, ah, you know what you're talking about. There's yeah. some <laughs> stuff. There's some stuff that you you will look at it and you're like, what the, what is that? Yeah. And he'll be like, well, you tell me. Yeah. And, uh, and but we all talk about it and we all kind of have a hand in it. But he thinks think of he dreams did, up these ideas. I think he does it so that he can try to kind of elevate our creativity. Right, right, right. Try to get you to think of what you could do with this before he tells right. you what it is. And yeah. it's a, kind of a way of him having fun, yet helping train us to do what he does. Oh, I didn't know if he put you in the shops or anything much with the actual techs. Like in Florida, down in Tampa, do you guys get to go in? And, oh, all the time. Yeah, we reach out to techs, and we have techs reach out to us about ideas all the time. Yeah. We yeah. go back and forth. But we always, you know, go to him and say, hey, what do you think about this? Yeah. Well, and we'll, we'll brain shot or brainstorm it. One, yeah. of the, one of the things that we do is, uh, and there's an inventor application form on our website. If you're a technician, you have an idea that you really think would help save you time. In automotive, I, you, I want to be clear about that because people send in some... Some yeah, heinous some ideas. Yeah, people will come in with like, just like random, random ideas. Like security safety things for like, like, op, like survival equipment. I'm like, dude. dude. Now, look, I'll give you, <laughs> I'll give you an example. So we have a BMW starter wrench partner with STWE12, and that is for removing the starter on uh, N54 motors uh, on the 3 Series and 5 Series, N54s and N55s. Techs typically are paid three hours to do that job. You cannot get to the fastener from the bottom. The firewall is in the way. You have to come in from the top, and a lot of times you got to remove the crowl, you got to remove a bunch of other accessories just to reach that fastener to remove the starter, and it takes a long time. That's why you paid three hours. Yeah. Uh, we had a uh, somebody that you know works in a shop reach out and said that he had an idea for this, and uh, he's like, if the wrench is shaped just this way, and it's a it's a what is it E four? Mm -hmm. um, so it's like a deep E four on the top, but it kind of comes across this way, and it's so it's just the right Is it shape. An E4? It might not be an E4, but whatever. <laughs> but it's just the right e shape. Yeah, it's probably not E4. But it's just the right shape to get around the firewall. So you can come in from underneath, and what used to take you three hours will take you now 30 minutes. Oh. And some people did. Uh, it's funny. Beat the clock. Well, a lot of people did say uh, they'd look at that and be like, well, I could just make something similar to that and not have to buy them. Like, you just you just destroyed three separate tools while them together and MacGyvering your own yeah. situation. I mean, and plus, the, the the, that, wrench, <laughs> that wrench retails for about $40. Um, and you make that back on your first job, yeah. using that using that wrench. But like like I was saying, we work with techs in that way. They'll reach out to us with a specialty idea to solve a very specific problem, and that's what we love doing. So if you have an idea, you can reach out to us, and we will help you develop it. Awesome! Heck yeah! Did someone help you with that idea right there, Louis? That you got this in your one, hand? No, not that, so much. Because that sucker is going to be one high. Is, this one is this one is us. This wasn't a. a you haven't paid attention to anything we've said. You pay attention to this one right here. <laughs> yeah, this so is the big one. This bad boy right here is what we're going to call the Noras, right? So the Nora 150 and the Nora 150 XL. There'll be two sets. One ranging from eight to thirteen, I believe, and the other one from fourteen to nineteen. Essentially, what they are are nano offset ratcheting adapters, deep box twelve point. Ratcheting, they look a little funky. You reversible. See, reversible, right? Reversible is big. Three inch square drive. So now you have any size extension. You know, you have a you have a two, you have a three, you have a six, you have an eight, you have a twelve. You stick a three eighths extension on there, and now it flexes in any direction. So you have a flex head wrench or a crow's foot. And really, there is multiple uses for this. And this bad boy is going to be something that people have already actually been hounding us over mm -hmm. because we released it and showed samples of it at a couple of expos. And I have never gotten so many pictures of my own stomach <laughs> from me showing oh, it yeah. like this yeah. <laughs> in my email. So uh, people are excited about it. But these bad boys are going to be hitting market probably in the next 
three or four months. Is it going to be spline or 12 point? They'll be 12 point. 12 point. They'll be 12 point. Okay. We will not be doing the spline. 12 point is, uh, obviously spline is used more universally, but right. 12 point is favored. Yeah. Is what Stronger. we found. So we will have the 12 points and the deep offsets. Yeah. Awesome. Is that all the tools we got? We got one little scraper right there, Michael, that you didn't talk about. Is that brand new? A little, yeah, what, is that, what is that? Thing? Okay. Last so, thing. Um, I'll give you five seconds to guess what it is. It's for removing emblems oh, and other no. things like that. So you basically have um, a nylon Stronger rope. Stronger than string. Yeah, that you can just slice them right off. Because you could use a scraper, and then you're damaging the wheel, and then you're upset, and then your customer's upset, and then it's a whole shebang. Or well, it makes it very easy. It's super easy, easy to just slice them well, off. So and a lot of people, a lot of people some, will use fishing line a lot of times. Um, and so that's where this idea really came from. You have a handle now to hold with hand. a little loop, and you exactly. can just. Whoosh, and it, it comes with um, with uh, a flywheel with a extra, flywheel with extra braid after a while. It's always with extra hair. braid, so there's just two hex fasteners on the back. You just take those out. You can you know make it longer if you want. If you ever if you ever snap the rope, you can just replace it. It'll come with it. That's great for body man. Oh yeah, yeah. great for body man. Well, and you also all there's so many weird wheels now. There's so many weird type of wheels, and a lot you have to take it off to be able to take those wheel weights off. With that, you know you can really get into any awkward angle. Guys, we are so happy to have had Vim come to our warehouse here in Tennessee. They're a Tampa-based company. They're in Tampa all the time. Like I said, they were in, a, in town for a tool show. This is probably one of our longer videos. We hope to God you guys watched it all the way through <laughs> because there's a lot of information in here with a lot of stuff you hadn't even seen hit the market yet. So don't call us and ask us, ask us if you can get it because, yes, it might be on back order. We are suffering from just a few items being on back order, but guys, like they said earlier, they are a small company, and things take time to get here, so patience is the best thing on your side. So we appreciate Vim coming down, Michael and Louie. Uh, we always love seeing them at the tool show. We, uh, we're going to post a video of us in Nashville, but that didn't go so well, did it? No. <laughs> yeah, we, so, uh, I still think you should post it. Yeah, our no, friend Matt I think or maybe cut it. it into this video because yeah, you're, we'll you're, the you're at the end of the video we'll, now. Yeah. It's like so we'll now, it, now it's just the real people. We'll put exactly it in the video. video. guys have probably already checked out but I, I my favorite drink is Bacardi and Coke and uh, they all. they had their credit card <laughs> and I'm cheap so I was like sure let's keep going thank you Louis senior yeah no problem yeah thank no, you Louis senior yeah, and thank you guys that. for buying us dinner but if you watch this little video right here you'll get to see what kind of fun we had downtown Broadway but we we, we, we want to try to stay somewhat professional too but you know hey we got to have fun guys we're just like you guys we're just uh, text that or uh, tool guys that sell to text and believe me i've heard your language out on the route so thank you guys so much for tuning in be sure to subscribe to vim tools at vim tools yes sir. at vim tools and if you're not subscribing to us ours is at text choice we're on tiktok instagram and youtube please share this if you don't mind our youtube is getting bigger and please share, please follow them on youtube because we're actually beating them right now we are it's, we're, i'm gonna put a link we got eight thousand they got six the so yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah. They got us on Instagram, though. They got us on Instagram. Let's compare it. You know what? Cut this. Let's <laughs> so we've had a good time hanging out with them. We're about to go out on the route and do some in-person in, uh, demos with some of the techs out there. Thank you guys so much for watching our channel. We hope you guys have a great week. Peace.